Hey guys, good morning. Um, so as you know that every week we make some projects, that is a weekend projects. So every week I try, to, I try to teach you something that I learned at my workplace. Um, so this week what I'm going to teach you is a small mini project. This might take about 30 minutes for you. So please do try it out. So what you do is basically, let's say you have a list of products. When you go on a website, you see different, different products, right? And you click on the, those products, right? As soon as you click on those products, what happens is, you know, uh, you have an icon called as uh, that product was already viewed. And the next time when you load the page, uh, when, that, when the, that product appears again, that product will be showing you as you have already viewed it. How do you even implement this functionality? So, so this is what I've been working on this week. Um, so I want to teach you guys uh, how to do that. So what the concept behind is basically we basically once we get the JSON data, once the DOM is loaded. So once the once the, once the JSON data is ready, what we do is basically we use handlebars to create those products. And basically, when you click on this each card or a product, what we do is basically we attach event handlers, and uh, each product has a unique ID. So uh, so we can select those products uniquely, uh, right? So what we do is basically when you click on a product, a function is triggered and basically what happens is basically using um, CSS, we add a class called as FA, FAI. So you see an I icon, like a viewed icon on the card. Right? Once that is done, uh, what we do is also uh, is we will also put that data on a client side database. For example, you can use local storage, IndexedDB, WebSQL, uh, something like that. So the next time when the data is loaded, we'll check if that ID was there in the uh, client storage. If that ID was already there, that means that product was already viewed. You already clicked on that product, right? So that should be coming as a view icon, right? So these are some of the things, you know, I would love to teach you guys um, uh, in this weekend project. So right from scratch, assuming you don't know anything, we'll create a blank HTML page. We'll, we'll write some dummy products. We'll, we'll show the products. When you click on the products, it will change the border. Like that's that's the, that's the product you are working on. It'll show a viewed icon right there. So this is what you are gonna learn this weekend. Um, I hope you are excited and you wanna learn about this. If so, do give a like. Uh, so the part two of this video, um, I'm gonna be creating a playlist on YouTube called as Weekend Projects. So this is this is the weekend project. I'll I'll, I'll save it as weekend project hash one and the date and the part two would be the code actually. Okay. So hope you would enjoy it and uh, if so, do give a like to the videos and the projects. And if you want some other projects to be made, uh, please let me know by doing it in the comment section below. Uh, but yeah, that's the idea. Every week uh, we want to learn something new. We want to grow. We want to get better and better um, at what we do. So yeah, that's why I started like weekend projects now. So see you in the part two where we will be actually programming the weekend project and it's going to be fun. Uh, let me just show you a glimpse of it, uh, how it looks like. Okay, let me show you. So, um, if you can see uh, clearly, um, you know, I have these cards here. As soon as I click on any of the cards, for example, if I click on sawmill, it's a card. Think of it as a product. Okay? You see a border was added and you have this view icon. But the next time when you refresh the browser, it will retain this view because you already clicked on this, right? So we'll be using databases or client side databases as well on this project. For example, if you go to application, these are the different databases you can use. I'll be teaching you all of that, like session storage, local storage and all of that. But hope you are interested in learning these um, new things. Um, if so, uh, join me in the part two where we will start coding from scratch.